Hey Taurus, it is Pisces Intuition here with your third reading for this week. So this one is going to be for all my people out there that are in separation. Just kind of wondering, where do we go from here? You know, are we going to reconcile or should I just pack up and move on? All right, Taurus. Okay. All right, so the Eight of Pentacles wanting to come out. So you could be focusing more on work. Or some of you are putting the focus in on working on yourselves, kind of healing past matters, which I have seen a lot of that come out, and it's really no surprise with um, all of us being in the Mercury pre-shadow. Um, Mercury goes full retrograde on June 18th, I believe. All right, Taurus. All right, so Taurus, having a fear of letting go. Okay. Yeah, it feels like for a lot of you, you're wanting to, you're thinking more about your future. You're wanting to plan more for the future. But it feels like you're holding yourself back. But yeah, but definitely thinking more of like the bigger picture, you know, more down the road, more of your future. Like, what is it that you want? All right, so now to get into your reading, sorry about that, um, to get into your reading, you know, why is there a distance between you and this person? Um, we have the Four of Pentacles. So, you know, it's them, uh, there could be some fears here, they could be non-committal. Um, for some, more I'm getting just there's some fears here. There's fears of kind of letting themselves go, um, letting themselves get too comfortable. Um, there's like some insecurity issues is what I keep picking up on as well. And it feels like this time apart is kind of teaching them more about stability, about security, about kind of nurturing their own issues, nurturing that um, that instability or that scare, that scarcity mindset. You know, because this does feel like it has a lot to do as far as like um, feeling secure. There's like some security issues here. Like I said, this person feels very insecure, um, possibly has abandonment issues. And so it just, it's kind of preventing them from like really kind of opening up and being vulnerable with you. Yeah. That's just kind of what I'm getting here. Um, but what it is healing is a high priestess. You know, the high priestess, you know, she is the ultimate secret keeper. You know, and it's like a lot of you are looking for some kind of guidance because it feels like this person is keeping secrets from you. And you want to know why they're acting the way they are or what is it that they're hiding? Well, they're hiding the fact that they do have a lot of insecurity issues. Like I said, this could stem from way before you. Um, you know, maybe they had a parent walk out on them. Um, you know, something... I mean, this could, like I said, stem from childhood or something, but it does feel like this person has a lot of secrets, a lot of things that they kind of keep, you know, down deep, um, could possibly feel kind of, you know, shameful for them, but they bury them down deep. They're not wanting to acknowledge them yet, and they definitely don't want you to see them. They don't want you to see their flaws. And so that's really kind of what this whole process is kind of helping them heal because they do want to be open with you. They do want to show you that vulnerable side. They do want to wear their heart on their sleeve and, you know, know that you're going to, they want to put trust into you and trust into this relationship. But, you know, it's just like their past, you know, all the secrets, everything that they kind of try not to acknowledge is kind of coming up and it's hard for them to ignore. So... All right, and so now your feelings about the distance between you guys are the Six of Swords. You're wondering, should I just, you know, pack up and move on? You know, what are they keeping from me? What kind of secrets are these? You know, and does it have something to do with our relationship? Why are they so secretive? Why are they so withdrawn? Because it does feel like this person kind of closes up and just kind of pulls away. And so that really kind of causes some concern for you. And so, again, you know, you're wondering, is this even worth it? Should I just, you know, pick up and move on? Am I going to get my heart broke down the road? You know, like, are they playing some kind of games with me? It kind of, it's really kind of putting you in your head, um, you know, just kind of worrying a lot, kind of stressing out a lot about, you know, what is exactly going on with this person? You know, like I said, are they playing games? Are they lying to you? What are they hiding from you? And so, like I said, it's just kind of leaving you wondering, like, should I just move on or, you know, because because we need to talk about this, but it just kind of feels like, you know, you haven't, every time you try to kind of bring it up, it's like, it kind of just gets skirted around or, you know, it's like, 
they'll pick a fight to in order to just you know to get that topic like shut down and they can pull away again so um all right so now the emotion that this is kind of bringing up you know to heal as well is the page of swords so you know that's that's kind of needing to rely on your intuition using your own discernment here um you know i think a lot of you tend to kind of ignore that intuition here taurus It feels like you're second guessing yourself as well. Like I said, kind of, you know, kind of ignoring that intuition, ignoring that little voice, you know, that gut feeling that you have. Hmm. Um, yeah, I'm definitely getting something too. Somebody's worried about like, um, I don't know if this is an age difference or maturity. I got this for somebody else to another sign I did. But it's like, maybe we're just too different. Maybe we're not seeing eye to eye. Like maybe, you know, can this really be worked out? And that's just what I keep getting for somebody here too. All right, but now how can you best honor your feelings on this journey? Nine of Wands. So this is kind of, this could go both ways. You know, honoring your feelings by not giving up, by working through them. Um, you know, having to tear down your own walls that you've built up. But then I see this as you having to work past this person's walls by ultimately proving to them. You know, and again, this is a general reading. This is energy. So if this is sounding more like you rather than your person, feel free to switch that around. And if this is not your situation, then this message is not for you. Um, but it does feel like, you know, this is also saying that this is you needing to get past your person's walls, you know, proving to them, you know, that... Um, you are willing to stay here. You're not, you're not going to abandon them. You do want to work through this. You know, things like that. That you're looking for a way to make this work. Because like I said, it really kind of feels like your person has some trust issues. All right. Now, some advice that I can offer you is the Seven of Pentacles. <laughs> um, this is going to, you know, take some time. There's definitely some patience required here. It's like you're planting the seeds here. You're showing this person, hey, I'm in this for the long haul. If you want to work this out, let's work this out. You are being patient with this person, it feels like. But, you know, and for some of you, you put in a few good years already. And it's like you really need this person to show you. Because it's like somebody here really kind of needs to prove that they're in it. Uh, all right, I want three more cards, please. Three more cards for Taurus, please. Yeah. Ten of Cups, Eight of Swords, and the Seven of Swords. Yeah. Bottom of the deck, Four of Wands. You know, this, this relationship here has potential. You know, you could, you know, find yourself, you know, with happiness here, um, building a family for some of you. But it's like the other party is just too much in their heads, causing too much doubt, too much fear. You know, because they do pull back, that's causing those ish issues of why are they being so sneaky? Why are they acting, you know, so shady? And so then that's bringing up trust issues on both sides. Hmm. For others of you, this is because they do have trust issues. And they do have um, just, you know, a lot of issues stemming from childhood. Hmm. For some of you, and this is not going to be a message for everybody, but it does feel like your person could possibly be like bipolar or um, have high anxiety. And so you're really trying to make this work. You're really trying to be patient with them. But it's just like it really kind of does take a toll on you. And, you know, you don't want to, you feel guilty about that. Like you don't want that, you know, want to feel that way. But at the same time, it's just like it's so exhausting and you know, even kind of draining to you. And so you're kind of, you're not really being honest with your person about that. But then for others of you, it's just like, you need this person to um, make a move. You need them to, you know, figure it out already. Like, you know, and commit, do you want to work this out? Or do we just go our separate ways? Because I'm tired of waiting. It's like, I need you to figure it out because I know what I want. And I'm willing to fight for this. I'm willing to, you know, plant these seeds with you, watch them grow. Let's see what happens. 
but you know if you're not if you're just going to continue to hang on to things from the past protect yourself and just you know ultimately be kind of shady and play mind games with me to where I don't know what's going on then I can't do this so you know again taking how it resonates but yeah that's kind of what I'm seeing here for you Taurus so, all right, well, Taurus, I do hope this helps your situation. Um, thank you so very much, especially if you watched all three videos. I do hope it, gives you, it gave you some kind of insight. Um, so until next time, you know, take care.